Should you buy Asia Broadband Inc. stock? Asia Broadband closed the session of the 26th of March 2021 at $0.3145. And we can see the news down here says, this is the news as of the 20, 24th of March. It says Asia Broadband confirms $16.8 million in annual gross profit affirming mining operations development success. And then on the 26th, we can, 22nd, we are seeing that Asia Broadband goes live with sale of gold backed crypto token. So the folks at Investor Place have it that. Um, it says in the ever growing list of cryptocurrency plays that investors can choose from, Asia Broadband stock is seeing a recent appreciation that is generating buzz. So, this company was involved in digital education and media business and it was established in 1996. And of late now, it has now, it says the move to cryptocurrency has been paying off nicely, as we just pointed out. The company's legitimacy with the cryptocurrency space is solidifying quickly. And went on to say that uh, the company has announced uh, that token. It's going live as at uh, the 22nd of March, which is a week from today. So it says tying the token to the value of gold packages asia's broadband to businesses to business models together and importantly investors are excited by the innovation in fact the excitement is driving a a a b b stock up rapidly as at uh, probably a few days ago shares were up 10 percent nearly today as at that time so keep in mind that a b b a a b b stock is still very small at around 35 cents a share it is also quite volatile which is not surprising in the crypto space however given its unique business model investors will be uh, will be rise to research um, uh, Asia Asia broadband keep this equity on your radar that's what they're saying so which if we go in and dive in and we'll see what's going on with uh, Asia broadband you can see um, Okay, let's update this and bring it back, bring it up to the 29th. Sorry about this. It's, uh, yes, so let's bring it up again. So, yes, we can see what's going on there. So, we can see that the unbalanced volume indicator, it's not as high as it was before and momentum, the 14 period slope stochastic oscillator, the momentum for the last 14 sessions is also uh, declining, but you might say something else. We can also see that the MACD is slightly below the signal line and it says that uh, AABB appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend, although it's MACD is presently below the signal line shares remain 584.7 percent above an opal slope in 200 day moving average comparative relative strength analysis shows that it's the issue it's is our performing s p 500 so let's see whether it is correct and indeed uh, i think well if you go by what has happened over the last 10 trading sessions maybe it is correcting yes and then we can see that the momentum will uh, say that Momentum for AABB as measured by 14 period slow stochastic escalator is waning as we pointed out. This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases. I may even be taking profits and positions but at lower prices. The unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Okay, so buyers are currently uh, based on or over the last 10 to 14 trading sessions. Buyers are presently more active than sellers yet the momentum is also dropping so the activity it but what it's, it's saying is that people probably the big players are taking money off the table and then maybe the much more recent folks like maybe you and i are getting busy with the stock so and the the thing there is that this is what they're looking at right now you can see it is trading at a discount a slight discount to its 10-day trend line well if we were trading even 
uh, to discount to its 50 day trend line that would have been awesome but this is a stock that is gaining it's has just got gotten a lot of interest as at the from the 5th of we're just we're talking about last month from the 8th of February that was when the interest suddenly uh, arose everybody you know started getting involved and we can see from that time it rose from two cents and reached where it reached it reached um, 54 cents so this stock is it's definitely highly volatile you know? so currently as it is trading at a discount to so only its 10 day trend line some market participants will say all right i think that's okay for me that's good enough for me because look this is a stock that is highly volatile you know it has it has it used to trade at uh, more than 45 cents at some point at, at 54 cents at some point it's now down to 32 cents i think it is definitely a correction and i uh, i think it even if it's not trading below its intermediate trend line it doesn't matter it has cooled off to some extent you know so yes i would say currently yes it presents a good a fairly okay buying opportunity so if you want to get involved by all means jump in and get involved it's can see it's still only trading at 32 cents okay so easily you know and uh, fundamentally the company has also done something really exciting you know tying its own business uh, probably gold mining and crypto mining you know that is really good you know so that's a good struggle and obviously evidently market participants are getting excited so join the free and right now it is correcting you know a very very good opportunity at the moment so by all means do get involved and of course be careful with what you're putting in okay thank you very much so if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share for you subscriber thank you very much for watching this video